My name is Brother Chukunonso Onya. I joined the Lost Chosen in 2013. I live in Ajawa State and I thank God for making me and my family chosen. Thank you, Father. I want to bless the name of the Lord for his goodness upon my life and the life of my family members. Last year, before the program from Sorrow to Joy, my father, who lives in Enugu, he's aged, he's 85 years old. As at last year, they called me and they told me that his body system broke down completely. So when I called, he told me that his hips was as if somebody is pulling it out and the pain was so severe. So later, I was calling, I was following up to see what was going on. They told me that they had admitted him at a Memphis Hospital in Enugu. So they said that he was diagnosed of meningoencephalitis, um, stroke, pneumonia, and acute kidney problem. So that was a week before our Sorrow to Joy program. I said, okay, I will stay back. After the program, I will travel to Enugu to see him. Even when I travel, I don't see what I can possibly, how I can possibly help him. So, but as God will have it, after the program, there was workers' conference. And after the workers' conference on Tuesday, I was very opportune to the glory of God. I met with my geo and I gave him my, the picture of my dad. Because by then, my dad has gone into coma. Hmm. And he was in the ICU of the hospital. So I was opportune, I met with my geo, I gave him the picture of my dad, he took the picture, put it on the table, and hit it three times, pa, 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 and gave it to me, and my father woke up. Power! Hey, hey, hey! Ultimate power! God of Joseph! God of Joseph! Power, God of Joseph. Clap unto God of the Chosen. Clap unto this great God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of the Chosen. Mystery, miracle. So on Thursday, that same very week, I traveled to Enugu to see him. And when I went inside the ICU where he was still admitted. You know, his body was shaking. You know, he would do as if he wants to raise his hand. So when I came out, I asked my cousin that I was with him in Enugu. When he started um, making those movements, he said it was on Tuesday. And hmm. I just glorified God. Power! Thank you, Father. Thank you, God, I chose it. Hmm. And God did not stop there. The hospital that was taking care of him because they are neurologists, they take care of the brain, they diagnose problems from the brain. So when they saw the progress he was making in, in his healing process, they said at his age that the speed at which he was recovering was not normal, that this must be the hand of God. Mm. And I bless them of the Lord for that. Power, confirmations. Thank you, Lord. So I want to bless the name of the Lord that today my father is at his feet. Hmm. He's 86 years old. And even though, you know, when he was a child, they had to employ, you know, he started learning how to walk again. That's a physiotherapist came. He started learning how to walk again. Today he is on his feet. Power! Perfect work of God. Thank you, Lord. I also forgot to mention that how the sickness started. He drove himself to church on Sunday and came back and his system collapsed suddenly. Hmm. So I want to bless the name of the Lord that the plan of the enemy for his life did not work. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Jesus. That's my first testimony. Let's clap unto God again for that intervention, honoring the action of the pastor of Chosen. Thank you, Father. Chosen, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My second testimony is how God delivered me from Okeja Shrine. From Okeja Shrine? Yes, the Alosu Okeja, the very known one. 
In 2010, I went into a business venture and um, I had some people that came and they contributed. One of them contributed around 18 million, the other one around 34. You know, I contributed around 12.5, but I was the one at the helm of affairs. But unfortunately, the hand of the devil came and that business crashed. So the one that brought 18 million naira, everybody counted their loss. So the one that brought 18 million naira said that I was the one that invited him into the business. So I'm going to pay him back his money in full. And in the course of time, when the business was still in operations, there was a time I took a personal loan from him for 4 million naira. So he now said I should pay him back. He reported the man matter at the special fraud unit, the police department at Ikoyi, Milverton. So when we got there, we met with the commissioner of police. He looked at the matter and said that what we are discussing here is a civil matter, that he doesn't have any business with police. So we are asked to go. So later he now took the matter to EFCC. So when we got to EFCC, we agreed that we are going to settle. I said, okay, that I have a plot of land in Aja, that I'm going to give him that land as settlement for the four million I was owing him, which I know was far much more in value for that four million. So I gave him the land, I gave him 500,000, but he was still not comfortable. He now said I must pay him his full 18 million. So he now, one day I was at home, I now got a call. Somebody called me and said, I said, hello. The person said, hello, Okija. Hmm. So, but I didn't declare I'm a chosen. So I now told the person that he should not call my line again. If it's for me to come to that Okija, I will never come there. So That's let good. them be doing what they are doing. Let me be doing my prayers and now see who will prevail. Hmm. And I caught the line. So in the dream, they would come as a fight to fight me. There was one day one came, I declared, I am a chosen. I am a chosen. I am a chosen. Who are you? God of my pastor, where are you? And God empowered me. I grabbed that man in the dream and I beat him up very well. That's very good. Thank you, Father. Thank God, our chosen. Thank you, God, um, my pastor. So subsequently, they will stay at a distance. And they'll be warning me that we have invited you to come and answer to a petition that was written against you and you have refused to come. In, that, in all those uh, warnings, I will ignore them because I won't, um, I won't respond to them. So the last one that happened, that was in 2015. I was in the dream and I saw one man. He used a sickle, that instrument they use in harvesting rice. You know, he's carved at the end. He used it, he was hitting one man, hitting one man, hitting one man, and killed the man. Hmm. He now turned and looked at me. When he looked at me, a man on suit came from behind me with the same sickle. Now he hit him and hit him and hit him, and the man died. Power! Uh -huh. Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of Chosen. Thank you, Lord. So the man with sickle went behind me and disappeared. So when I woke up, I was sweating. Hmm. So, but I bless them of the Lord since that 2015. This is 2021. They've never called me again. They've they never cannot. asked me for anything. They cannot. And I want to bless them of the Thank Lord. You, Thank you, Father. Thank you, God of the church. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I want to pray for my pastor. There is no doubt that he is called by God. Mm. When I came here and I heard the miracles, I decided to stay put because I am not the type that moves from one church to the other. So I want to pray for him that God will continue to empower him for more grace, more inspiration, more power, more knowledge, more insight. And also God shall give him the administrative prowess mm. to administer the 10 billion souls he has assigned unto him in Jesus name Amen I also want to pray for a moment in the Lord for grace of the Lord upon her it is not an easy task to Thank be the wife of a Jew of a church as big as the lost chosen Thank you, Lord. but God shall also give her the grace when she calls upon God, God shall answer her 
and the children of our pastor that they should be like their parents and the family of our pastor that none of them shall be distracted by politicians and money bags in jesus name amen I pray for the lost chosen members all over the whole world that all of us shall meet in heaven at last and my family members all of us shall meet in heaven at last in jesus name amen in jesus mighty name my prayer thank you father let's clap unto god and appreciate him great testimony there chosen people will do not fear shrine or cultic power instead they should fear you